Hey, it's me, Kelly, the Tech Action Mom. How are you? Um, I want to talk to you really quickly today, today, if I can do this really quickly. Uh, how to make a share schedule using a spreadsheet to keep track of your Pinterest pins. Um, I know a lot of people use automated scheduling for their pins, but I really don't do enough pinning to to it's it's not cost effective to me to go out and spend ten or twenty or thirty dollars more every month just to do the three or four pins a day that I need to be done. I can do them in five or ten minutes myself. So it just at at this point at this juncture it just didn't make um didn't make sense for me to go out and spend money. And if you're like I know a lot of people do dozens of pins a day. So, you know, for them it may be worth it to, you know, use a Hology or one of the other program systems. I was using CoSchedule, which was great because it helped me schedule everything. I did I did uh, Pinterest, I did Twitter, I did LinkedIn, I did Facebook, I did everything with CoSchedule. But CoSchedule is no longer integrated with Pinterest, so I had to come up with something else of my own to deal with Pinterest. And using a spreadsheet was was what I came up with. It helps me keep track of my pins. It helps me I know which boards that I've pinned to and it helps me do it over time so that I'm not you know pinning one pin several times the same day or within a couple of days. You know it helps me space it out over time so that my pins are more likely to be seen by more people which gets me, um, you know, you get more eyes on your pin, you're going to get more repins, you're going to get more clicks, that's more traffic to your blog. And that's really our goal here, right? So, excuse me, a little beverage here, I'm thirsty. Okay, so moving on. What I use is Google Drive. There's a spreadsheet in Google Drive. If you've never used a spreadsheet, this is super easy. If you have a Google account, you can use this. Um, if you use Gmail, if you have a G plus, uh, Google Plus account, whatever, then you've already got a Google account and you can come right here to Google Drive. It's drive.google.com. And you, if you've never used it before, the first thing it's going to do is show you a tutorial. You can watch that real quick or you can just skip it, whatever, you, you know, whatever makes you happy. Um, but to create a spreadsheet, you're going to do, surprise, surprise, you're going to hit the big red button that says create. And you're just going to go right down to spreadsheet and click click on it. And it's going to start you a new spreadsheet. Now, I've already started one, brought it over here. I wanted to go ahead and kind of get it filled in. I'm going to explain to you what I've done. Um, first thing you're going to do is click up here and give it a name. Name it whatever you want. I called mine my share schedule. Made it made sense to me. Um, we're going to have a row across the top here, and in this row, we're going to we're going to name each column. Now, the first column is going to be the title of your blog post because that's what you want to keep track of here, right? The the pins that you're doing. Um, in the second one, I've put URL, and this URL is not going to be your blog post URL. It's going to be your pin URL. So once you've pinned a pin. And let's come here and I'll show you where you can find that. Once you've pinned something, these are my, my pins under Take Action WOM. And let me real quick tell you, if you do not have a board named after your blog, I really recommend it. I think it's a good idea for to help brand yourself. Um, it's, it should be the first thing on your blog that people see. Um, and it's a, it's a nice way to keep all your pins from your blog in one place. So in order to get the URL of a pin, just once you've pinned something, just click on that pin. When it opens up, you'll have the URL right here. And you'll copy that and you'll take it over here and you'll you'll paste it into here. Now, the rest of these columns are the names of my pin boards that I use for my own pins. Um, I have 98 pin boards, but I certainly don't pin all my all my pins onto all those pin boards. A lot of them are things that you know aren't my niche that aren't associated with my blog per se. Um, <clears throat> they're where I share other people's pins 
and things that I want to keep, you know, recipes, um, crafts, stuff like that, home decorating ideas, my bucket list, all that stuff. <clears throat> so what I've done here is I have put the names of my boards that I use and that's what you'll do here just whatever boards that you use to pin your pins on whether they're your boards or community boards group boards that you belong to just put them all write them all in across the top and if you've never used a spreadsheet before you'll type one in and then you hit tab and it'll take you to the next block type in the next one hit tab type in the next one hit tab it's spreadsheets are really easy I understand I realize that not everybody's had the joy of working in an office for many years like I did um, so if you don't have a lot of experience with a spreadsheet this might this might look really um, a little overwhelming or a little um, intimidating but it's really very simple to use um, each of these little blocks are called a cell and what we're gonna do is we're just we're just using this to create a list now you could see here this returning blog traffic is one of my pins is one of my blog posts that I did the other day and this is the pin and I um, want more blog traffic turn one-time visitors into returning readers so when I open that up I got that URL and I pinned it or I uh, pasted it in here now here's the way this works the next day when I come and I want to it's this is going to be the next place I pin it so all I need to do is click on that and open it in another window and then it's ready to go to repin so I don't have to go searching for it everything's easy right there and I would just go to the next board that I want to pin it to which it's already done so I'm not actually going to do it and then pin it and it's done then I would come over here and say yes now I'm gonna pause this for just a minute and I'm gonna add a few more pins down here so that I can show you how this works over time so give me just a minute and I'll be right back okay now see that didn't take long at all did it it's almost like a miracle look at all those things there okay so now you can see that each of these I've got a URL for it here that means that it's already been pinned into my take action wand board as soon as I do a blog post I immediately pin it into this board it's the first thing that I do so these are always going to be here they're always going to be a, a little Y for yes because it's done um, you can put an X you can put an O whatever it is makes you happy to let you know that you've done that one okay the next day I did this now we're going to assume this is a few days later now because this one's already out because this one's already been done to the next one what I would do the next day when I came in here the next thing I would do would be the, the next one down to the next one over so it would be here so we're selling an email and it would go to the blogging so we click on our pin open it up pin it to blogging I apologize for my sl very slow internet pin it to blogging pin it yay it's done I'm not going to actually do any of these because they're all already done and then go right back here and say yes that one's done then I'm going to go up here which is the next one over here and we're going to do this one and it's going to work at home mom so I would then I would pin this one to work at home mom yay that's done I would come back here and say yes that's done and then that's all I do for that day just a couple now the next day I'd come here and I would do this one this one and this one I would do maybe three so let's do we do them the same way you know, just click on the link and then that's it it's just you know you can see how easy that is now we're starting to get a little more I don't want to do more than three or four in a day so we're gonna do this one we'd click it go pin it come back and say yes we're done go up to the next one click it pin it say yes we're done 
click it, pin it, say yes, we're done. And that might be all I want to do that day. Now the next day when I come back, I'm going to start here. So you see, once you start getting enough pins in here, it's going to start being two or three days between each, pin, each time you pin any particular pin. I'm not sure if that's making sense, but basically what I do is I'm, I'm working in a, a diagonal fashion here, going across diagonally. So this would be the next one I do. Click it, boom, pin it, come back, yes it's done. And now the next one I do, I would come back down here to the beginning, click it, pin it, yes it's done. Click it, pin it, yes it's done, and then I stop. And then the next day, this would be the next one I do. And in order to not lose your place, you might want to write next in there before you finish for the day. There's no need to save this, it auto saves. So once you're done typing something, it auto saves. You can close it, you can see right there, where it's all done. All changes saved in Drive. So you can close this and then when you come back the next day, you know this is where you're going to start the next day. You click it, pin it, yes it's done. Move up and over to the next one. Click it, pin it, yes it's done. Click it, pin it, yes it's done. And then the next day, you're going to start back over here. Or you might be down here for the next one. Um, if you've got more scheduled in. But you're just going to keep working up in this diagonal fashion until you've worked all the way across. Now maybe be, there may come a time when you say, well I don't want to pin this one and this one. So just put a different um, letter, an N for no or an O for zero or whatever to say I didn't do that one, skipped it, and move on to the next one. Um, and just pin two or three a day mark it off. Now, what you can do instead, and let me erase all these, well, let, yeah, let me erase all these. I'm going to show you another little um, trick. If you go in here, you may want to keep track of the dates that you pin these, because maybe after three months or so, you might want to come back and repin into these um, under the same board. There's nothing wrong with that if you've waited a decent amount of time. So we look here, if you press when you're in the, when you've clicked on a cell and then press control semicolon, it automatically, it, it automatically inserts the date there for you. So that's kind of a cool little trick. You can just as you go across and do it, control semicolon and it puts the date in so you don't have to write the date each time. Now there are a couple other little things you can do here to make this easier. Let's say for instance, let's uh, select this row going across and then come up to this little, um, see where it says borders here. Looks like a little, a little plus sign inside a box. And those are your borders. Click on that and then click on this one that just says bottom border and that'll put a line all the way across there. It'll go all the way to the end of the spreadsheet forever and ever. We'll come down a couple of boxes and we'll do it again. Same thing. That just makes it a little easier to keep track as you're looking across to know where you are. And now you see as you click inside a box, this, this one up here, the, the F and the 5 get slightly darker. So that's another way to help you kind of keep track of where you are. <clears throat> I know as you're, as you're moving out, it can get kind of confusing as to exactly what you're doing. Um, it can get hard to keep track. Now, here's another little thing. You'll notice social media is the last thing you see here. But if we come down here and drag this across, there's actually another cell filled out here. We say, uh-oh, but I don't see that. And if I start moving over here, if you have more boards than I do and you have to go you know, all of a sudden, well crap, now I can't even see my URL or my blog title anymore. I'm going to be very confused. So what you can do is, um, it's a little trick called freezing the cells. Go into format and no, tools. Uh, oh, here we go, view, I'm sorry. 
I know it's, I never can remember where it is. I always feel like it should be in format. Here we go, view. Go down here, and we're going to freeze columns. What we want to freeze, we want the blog post and the URL to always stay here so that even as we're scrolling across, they don't move off the screen. We want them to stay there. So we're going to go into view, and we're going to freeze columns, and we're going to freeze two columns. Now you see that's put in this dark line here. And suddenly our scroll bar is no longer the full width. It's only on the side of that, of that dark line. And as we move, the rest of this, the, the spreadsheet here, this section, will move back and forth, but our first two columns stay in place. And that's also a handy thing to do with um, your titles up here. So we've got one, two rows here. So we're going to go into view, and we're going to freeze rows this time, and we're going to freeze two's rows. Now, as we start getting more and more URLs here, more blog posts done, more pins, we may need to slide down, and that top part will stay there as we go. It'll stay right there. So you can always see your main headings here, and you won't lose them as you're doing, as you're doing your work. Um, that's it. I think that's, that's pretty much it. That gives you a good idea of how to use a spreadsheet to keep track of your pin schedules. I hope that's helped you. I hope I've explained that well enough. I know um, I tend to ramble, and I hope I made it clear enough that you understood what I was doing. Um, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments, and I'll be happy to help you out. Until next time, this is Kelly the Take Action Wom, and keep taking action, and I'll see you later.